Uh, guess what? Uh, I've got actors in the series. In studio, Buntu Pize, Mpo Sibeng, and Ebenezer Dibagwane. In studio, welcome. Good morning. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us here. I mean, look, <coughs> that's just the trailer, and I, I couldn't stop laughing. I mean, <laughs> so much of it is, is so relatable. Yeah. Buntu, let's, let's start with you. I mean, you, you talk about wanting a rebrand, an overhaul, because, I mean, the stakes are high. Yeah. Talk to us about your role. What was it like? Oh, it was amazing playing the character of Mbali Hadebe. Um, she's just so out there, so boisterous. And I just decided to dive in and join her, and it's been amazing. And what did it take in the build-up to this role? I mean, what were some of the considerations that you had to make? The preparation, because, I mean, we, we are laughing and, and really enjoying some of the... The narrative is a very South African. Yeah. I think I had to just dig up the most rude part of me yeah. and just nurse that. <laughs> I, I could not like, be thinking about people's feelings, and I think that's how I was able to get the character out. Yeah. Mpo, what was your experience? I absolutely loved it. Um, so I went to VITS around the time when Fees Must Fall started. So mm -hmm. for me, it was like reenacting real life, something that I've been through. So it was absolutely amazing for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did it take for you, Ebenezer? Um, insanity. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put, no, I think I just had to dig into my skepticism really about the world and um, also, you know, kind of allow myself to be entrenched in sort of the misgivings of this character and his paranoia, you know. It's just, it was very difficult looking outside. I'm like, a bird's real. A bird's cameras. You know, just all sorts of things. Yeah. I started to believe a few things. I had to decrease. Yeah. I've yeah. managed so far. I'm glad. I'm glad you've managed. <laughs> it took a lot in terms of going back to varsity years and remembering the, the campus vibe, the feel. Uh, what was that like? I mean, looking at your lives now and now having to go back and remember that feeling that preparation process in itself, how much did it take from you? I think for me, I just had to remember how to play. You know, being yeah. younger, you, every decision you make, it's, it's, it's more colorful, it's more intense, and I just had to go back to that. Mm. Really. Yeah. Mm. And working together, I mean, Ebenezer's hilarious. Off air, we <laughs> can't stop giggling. I'm surprised people can see your makeup um, intact, because off air, completely on the ground, <laughs> what was it like? It was a lovely yeah. experience. Mm. I think we all became so close that we're literally a close-knit family now. Mm. Yeah. We cannot tear us apart, literally. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, definitely. They were boring, but I, I, <laughs> I was hilarious. And you I think provided the entertainment. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> provide the entertainment, the looks. You know, I just worked so hard for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, unfortunately, you know, I think Netflix was very gracious in that. Uh, also, afterwards, we got to spend a lot of time together, yeah. Yeah. you know. And, um, yeah, man, you know, very blessed to have met each other where we are, yeah. you know. And yeah. um, so very fortunate because also the humility is able to be entrenched in us. We always remind each other, let's not forget, mm. you know, that mm. sort of advice. Not like, hey, guys, that's, that's some men so chai, but not yeah. just, mm. you know. Mm. Also, like, guys, don't forget to pray, you know, yeah. mm. be grateful, mindfulness. Absolutely. Um, mm. A lot of South African themes, narratives, sayings coming out of this. I mean, you'd have to be South African to really just get it because yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, 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 an inside joke yeah. when you listen to some of the things what was it like going through the script and and having to be part of that to be honest i really think the script was really well written i mm. think Razim Buzi, who was the head writer did the most you know with Abosani fuba and you know we had a, also a great team of directors i think everyone literally came to the ball it really wasn't difficult to get what was on paper on screen yeah. literally we didn't have to dig deep because they did so well and it really helped us like a, a lot mm. and i think yeah. also what i love is that even though we do have inside jokes it is such an international Universal. piece of work mm. yeah. you know i yeah. feel like people are going to feel like they're inside on this joke even in spain and wherever mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And, and what sort of messages do you think really stand out um in terms of just life in general mm. and um you know first years who may be going back to uni going to university for mm. the first time not really knowing what to expect no, nothing for me personally what yeah. i get from watching we got to watch the whole season together mm. at, our, at our boy nicole basics house <laughs> you know um and um so I think the major thing is you'll never figure it out, mm -hmm. you know. That's what you're trying to kind of share with the young. 
you know, sometimes there's this pressure because they have, they've got TikTok and they've got mm -hmm. and there's millionaires that are 16 and they feel like, oh, I've got to figure it out. Now, you don't have it figured out. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't think you ever really get there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? But you work towards it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a major theme, you know, and obviously the themes of politics and <coughs> friendship and family and all of the intricacies that lie in between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why should people watch this? Oh, I, I think the, the list is shorter for reasons why they shouldn't. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you want a good time, if you want to learn a lesson, if you want to bond, yeah. do it. Do Go there now. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's yeah. streaming. Yeah. 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 And, and what would you say to, to people who may be thinking, mm, okay, another South African thing on Netflix? Give it a try. Yeah. Mm. I think give it a try. After the first two episodes, you will be hooked. Yeah. I think you will also see yourself because it's very relatable. I mean... It may be another South African story, but we are in South Africa. But this is a lot more international. <laughs> yeah. also. So it's very relatable. Go and watch it. You'll see yourself in the film. In the mm. film. Yeah. 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 Especially, I mean, look, the, the political front uh, really stands out. I mm. mean, we no guesses which party mm -hmm. we're representing <laughs> on stage. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how imperative is, is the political aspect of, of, of university life and, and being a South African? We're heading to elections next year, mm -hmm. and, you know, a lot of young people are, are said to not be willing or, or interested in voting because they feel that politics doesn't speak out for them. Mm. It, I mean, unemployment rate, there's a lot of issues at hand when it comes to the political space and young people in South Africa. Firstly, I think our politics are very important. It's very important for us to go out there and make our mark. Look, student politics did the most for me when I was in varsity. Yeah. There's so many you know, uh, ideals that we had to fight with and the only way that we could get through it was politics and you know, being in line with the SRC. So I think it's very important for people to go out there and vote. It's the only way you can make sure that, you know, you get the certain change that you want to make your mark, get your voice heard, mm. go out, register to vote, and actually do it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. I mean, I, I had an incredible time, right? The little tiny time we had together. Thank you so much for, for coming in studio and talking to us uh, there. Of course, uh, Buntu Pizze, Mpo Sibeng, and Ebenezer Dibakwane speaking to us about this really exciting South African export to global streaming platform, Miss education. They've given you the reasons why not to watch it.